Thursday morning. Got the chipper on the back, just fueled up. Uh, unblocked the blow, I had a little lump of chipping, which is a bit annoying, but I know why it's done it. It's because the remote control, well, you can't see from here actually. The arrow for the remote control. Oh yeah, you can, it's there. That little black thing. The uh, aerial snapped off because it's proper close to the in feed. And every time I was slewing on the digger, it was losing feed because it was thinking that it was, it was saying it was amazing because it lost signal on the remote. So we fixed that now and we should be good to go because we've unblocked the blower out of what we chip in. So I'll get this in position and hopefully Dave will get a good day's chipping. That's the plan. Ain't a funny noise that on the back rear disc. Uh, John's moving these panels out. Dave's merrily chipping away. Uh, absolutely chucking it down now. As you can see the yard's wet. Dry is working through the sky for other three loads to go through after that. Uh, hoovering it up as well. Wasn't the best of samples. Baby cramp wrap, James. So what tools they've got in? Just a rick of bees, getting some string. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we got an old. Uh, read some new ones. Milo. My Milo. Some hedge cutters. That's a big edge cut of that. Telly V8. It's not a digger, it's an edge cutter. I'm going to have to strap you in now before we go home. Let's go in the shop anyway again and pay. You ready? I was convinced that when we opened the door, they'd all go fall out. I'm no expert, but that doesn't look right. <laughs> Is that all it is? Just that, doing that. <laughs> I can see why you wouldn't have a van now. See the bees here on the mustard and the buckwheat's flowering. This is caterpillars galore. One there, one there. Um, SFI mix. Looking fairly decent. Another bee there. One here. It's what we want, isn't it? John's moving bales. These were baled yesterday. Morgan rucked them up in case it rained. Did get a little bit of a shower, obviously, before. Oh, you dropped something again. So Morgan's going between the stacks now, hopefully. John will have these stacks out of the way. We'll get this turned around and leveled off. It's got some wet holes and so in fact it's just about to go through one now that's where we went through standing water in the spring with the top down remember a bit easier at the moment going through it you always tell when Morgan's driving tracks because the beaches are always on yeah, look at these ruts here we stood in the other day I realise my car's there. How wide did this are? Whoa! And I left it down, I think, and pulled that level. Jamie's gonna rough it, rough it up. You don't notice it with the tractor because it bridges the ruts. tractor and stay in the seat. Might need a couple of passes but it's getting it a bit leveller. James got a bird's eye view then. Has he got out of his seat from to the other side of the car? You have haven't you? Merlot. Yeah it's the Merlot. Yeah and if the looks of things as well. 
the roof is just about on in time for John. He's going to move this straw into that field there, that shed. Hey up, back for a second pass. Watch the tracks off Sicily. That's level off now, isn't it? Yeah, that's not bad at all. I seem to have lost one of James's wellies. He was with me for what? Two hours going picking a string up, looking at the cover crop and then watching the quad track and set the depth and um, come back minus a welly. Turned my car upside down, cannot find it. John's checked where I was parked in the field because he was moving straw. Morgan's checked as well, they can't find it. Anyway, I'm going to move his straw myself now. I'll have another look. I cannot find this welly. Parked here because you can see where I loop round. It's a piece of plastic. He didn't even get out of the car. It's annoying because there's ultralight wellies. Just at Brook House, and um, we're, we're going to take these nets down because they've finished now on the top. And we start stacking straw in it. They've just been putting these on. So these go round the window sheets. Um, it's like a rubber rivet. And you tighten them up from above. And it just stops them like flapping in the wind. But uh, the red, so when you're walking on the roof, you can see. You see red screws, you know, not to step. Because it means it's a window sheet. And John get a 15 foot timber out of a 13 foot gap. <laughs> oh yeah and in other news i only man looked so charlotte has found james's welly under the back seat of my car i didn't even think you could put things under the back seat but yeah she's found that so that's good i think morgan dropped that one it's burst a few strings yesterday night so it looks like a mullet It's getting full now. Seven bales on this three acres. They're nearly half a ton of bales, so that's three ton of straw off three acres. That's not too bad. Let's look at the depth of these tram lines though. Mm. Bouncy, bouncy. Can anyone else hear that fan? Much quieter. There's quite a few on here as well. So, wasn't the big disaster, the skyfall. It looks nice now as well. All oh, you can see is stubble. It's great. Well, people have been moaning about how cold it is today and it is decidingly autumnal. But hoodies are available on the website to keep you warm. Run this into the yard now and then come back for the other two stacks that are somewhere. Can we see them? Yeah, there they are so rough and bumpy because the spray was cutting in because it was wet I mean even this bit here still wet I'll we'll have to run a drain into that it's the height of them ruts it doesn't show you on the camera does it proper partridge there running No expert, but I'm not sure if Morgan might be malting. Morgan's now leveling off these ruts, which is good, and trying to pull out the plug for that water. Oh, he's got the tracks dirty. Oh, not taking that tractor pulling at the weekend. Hopefully, that'll drain away now. Looks like it started to, hasn't it? 
disappeared from where he's gone through. That's a mighty fine tractor. I don't know who keeps folding the beacons down though. Beacon on this side's folded down again. This is the pond John made bigger in the spring. It's the reed seems to like it. And it's actually not got that much water in it at the moment. Maybe we need to deep it a little bit more. Looks smart now that roof. And when it's got the cladding back on, it's going to be green. It'll blend right in with the trees and the fields. The lads that have been doing it, they haven't half been done a tidy job. All the little off cuts they've stacked up. They're just, just tidy. That's not our Veltra. That's Neil and Jacob come for a load of straw. So that's all pretty much strapped on now. There's one less to put in the shed to take back out again. <laughs> Bit of expert stack in there. I don't know why the colours look so bad on a phone. It's really nice bright wheat straw, but it just looks really dull. Even I look bright red. I don't know whether the cameras are going dodgy in my phone. It's done some work this, it's two years old. Um but the new phone, will it come out in September maybe? Might get one new one and then they've got a new battery. I've had my hair cut if anyone hadn't noticed. Uh, Birthday today, Ollie Winter is 19, Michael Harris is 63, Kelvin Harding's on there, Will and Christina is the 10th wedding anniversary, Neil Ol Ol Sarker, I think it's pronounced, not an A, I think it's an O, Ollie Sarker, I think, was he, in, was he in Australia, maybe, and Catherine and Rob Cohen, I think that's, I think it's your wedding anniversary, 11 years as well, so happy birthday and happy anniversary to everyone on there, you can tell it's getting near a bank holiday weekend when the weddings are actually, um, anniversaries are getting put on there that is all for today uh, they've gone got quite on with a bit of chipping something did come loose inside did a bit of damage but um we just took it out as a work plate it's i think it's i don't think there's any point in having it i think we'd probably put some hard facing rods in there so that when it does it come out it doesn't damage anything in the blower but yeah that's all for today uh don't forget tractor pulling this weekend i'm going to try and get there tomorrow night saturday and sunday i'll be there every day but not all the time but i'm going to try and show me face at, at least a few times i'm going to take the seven to eight tomorrow night i think and do a, tr a trial run to show you the difference in tire pressures what what difference it means to pull it so yeah see you all there don't forget um go on the website get some tickets i think there's a code something like ollie five and ollie vip was it i'll put it below so if you want cheap tickets you can go and do that so thanks for watching and i'll probably see some of you over the weekend and see you all on here tomorrow